In this video, we're going to look at factors and multiples. They're both to do with multiplication, and you often hear them said together, but they're actually sort of opposites. Factors and multiples are really important for lots of things we learn in maths. Fractions, number patterns, factorising in algebra. So it's really important that we're super confident with them from word go. They're even used in breaking codes. So multiples are the times tables of a number. What we get by multiplying that number. So these are the multiples of 3. And these are the multiples of 20. Have a look at these factors of 20. And these factors of 12. What do you think factors are? Factors divide exactly into a number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 are all factors of 12 because they divide exactly into 12. It's quite easy to miss out some factors, so usually I start at 1 and work my way up. So let's look at the factors of 36. 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 5 doesn't go into 36, 6 and 6. So I've met in the middle. This means that I have got all the factors of 36. Here are some questions for you to do. Pause the video, work them out and click play when you're ready to check. How did you get on? The last two were bonus questions. We haven't actually looked at the highest common factors and the lowest common multiples yet. But I thought you could give them a go. Did you get them right? So the lowest common multiple just means the lowest number that is in both times tables and it's often written as LCM. So 24 is the lowest number that is in both the 6 and 8 times table. And so then the highest common factor or HCF is the biggest number that goes into both. So 6 is the biggest number that goes into both 18 and 24. Give these two questions a go. Pause the video, work them out and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? So there you have factors and multiples. Multiples are the times tables. Just think, multiples sounds like multiply, so it's big numbers. And then factors divide exactly into the number. Just think factors sounds like fractions, which sounds small, so factors are small numbers. So for the lowest common multiple, we just list out the times tables of both numbers, and then we find the first number that is in both lists. And for the highest common factor, we list out all of the factors of both numbers, and look to see what the biggest number is in both lists. So these HCF and LCM methods are really great for small numbers, but when we get big numbers, there's a much faster way that we can do it, and it involves using prime factorization. So we're going to look at prime factorization in another video.